Well, I've known Gerald uh, Boudreau for over a decade. Uh, he's uh, worked uh, as chairman of the board, on our board of directors at Our Lady of Lords Regional Medical Center, and now serves as a member of the board of trustees of the Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady Health System. So I know him as a member of our board and as our board chair. I know him as a member of the Miles Pratt Cancer Center board. Uh, I know him for his great community work uh, in terms of things like uh, cancer, uh, American Heart Association. Uh, you name the venue where it's about doing good deeds, uh, you'll find Gerald Boudreau. Uh, one of the things that I remember most about Gerald is when we have uh, employee events, uh, he's always there. Uh, he takes time to go and greet and visit, check on individuals. Uh, he'll uh, sometimes go up and grab me and we'll go visit patients uh, on the floors, people whom he knows that are here. He takes time out for others and in my mind exemplifies the word servant leader. When you drive down Ambassador Caffrey and see this beautiful new campus, uh, one of the people that uh, we all are indebted to is Gerald Boudreau. He was part of the visionary team of the board of Our Lady of Lords who saw this as a real possibility and who made this dream come true. He helped us in the planning and the budgeting. He helped us uh, in, the, in the designing a, uh, a hospital that's uh, second to none, whether it's to be the safest hospital in America, uh, to be a hospital where people feel welcomed uh, and cherished and cared for. Uh, these are traits that Gerald has himself and he's helped uh, to extend these traits to all that we do at Our Lady of Lords. When I think about the leadership skills uh, of Gerald Boudreaux, I think not only of someone who can dream big, but uh, just as importantly, get in on the ground floor to personally put sweat equity into making projects come to pass. I think uh, it is a, a noble trait that he can not only be at the board level uh, looking at things from a very strategic perspective, but uh, he can go into the trenches and get the work done himself when it needs to get done. That's a remarkable talent, uh, not surprising for, for a remarkable man. I think Gerald would be an outstanding state senator for Louisiana. He's a servant leader. Uh, he cares about others. He has uh, vision and values, faith, uh, love for family. Uh, he exemplifies the virtue uh, of not only a leader, but a caring and compassionate leader who makes sure that no one is left behind. Uh, I think he's uh, sensitive to the needs of others to the point where he listens to all sides. He has his views and they can be very strong, but you want that in a leader. But what I found him is always to be respectful of others, even when they're in an opposite uh, point of view from himself. And I think that is something that our political process lacks, the civility, the, the willingness to listen, uh, the uh, uh, opportunities to seek compromise. Uh, these are the type of things uh, that Gerald will bring uh, to uh, Louisiana.